Hey, what's up, home fries? I want to talk to you for a second, and if you don't want to here, I'm just going to give a little bit of a trigger warning just in case I'm going to be talking about some pretty deep themes um, involving the themes of this video, which happen to be unaliving yourself. Um, I don't want to use the word. Um, because YouTube just kind of like flags that stuff immediately. Uh, so I want to tell you a story. I want to introduce you to <laughs> a 13 year old Ashley. This was me in the eighth grade and this is me at the height of my bullying when I was being severely bullied and I want to tell you this story because it makes me so unbelievably sad to reflect on it in hindsight because I ended up being really messed up from the situation and I just wish that I could go back and hug myself and like let myself know that it's okay and like it's going to be okay. Um, so when I was 13, I was one of the more overweight girls in the class. I wasn't popular by any means. I had weird teeth. I was an easy target for boys to make fun of. And I primarily was bullied by boys and it really sucked to the point where one day, I opened my locker and there was a note in my locker and that note was explicitly telling me to not alive myself because I was fat, because I was gross, because essentially it was telling me to unalive myself because I didn't fit in to what the other girls looked like in the school. And it stuck with me. Um, I think about that and I just, if I would have just had someone, you know, to talk to that would, like that would have taken me seriously because nobody, besides my mom, I'll get there, nobody besides my mom was taking me seriously when I was getting bullied. And I ended up taking a lot of time off of school because of that. that incident unfortunately is what started a very long traumatic span of self-harm but I just wanted to like tell you this story because that is the main reason why I shied away from doing this video specifically because I Anything kind of in that vein kind of brings me back to being 13 and not like reliving that experience but wishing that I could just go back and hold my hand and just give myself a hug. You know, I just wish that I had someone like the person that I am now for myself. Anyways, I brought up my mom because she was really the only one who advocated for me when that was happening. I would go, like the school didn't take any of this seriously. It was just boys will be boys kind of thing. And um, I'm gonna get into that in a minute because in this specific case, it wasn't just boys will be boys. Um, so my mom ended up coming into the school, walking past the teachers in the classroom, getting in my bully's face and saying like, you don't talk to another person the way that you are talking to my daughter. Like you do not, like in any case, you don't speak to another human being like that. But she caught right in this kid's face and made him know that like, that's not right. And unfortunately, he didn't learn a lesson because that person who bullied me so badly into sadness and self-harm is now um, in jail for not aliving someone else. But I just wanted to like 
I don't know. I just wanted to preface this whole video with that, um, because when I was younger, I didn't have anyone necessarily to be a support system other than my mom, and I'm so eternally grateful for her. Honestly, I wouldn't be where I am now if it wasn't for my mom. And I just, I, when I hear, when I hear of situations where people are being treated bad, I get so upset because I just want to be, like, I just want to be that person to give someone a hug, and I just want to be that person to let others know that it's going to be okay, because I've been on the receiving end of a lot of bullshit. But time does heal, and obviously I'm still thinking about something that happened when I was... 13 years old and I look at this picture and I see how hurt I was and I see how sad I was and I just want to be a person of encouragement and a person of love for those of you who are experiencing a sad time in your life. So with all of that, thank you for listening. Thank you for um, listening to that story. Um, thank you for letting me get that off my chest. I just wanted to let you know where I was coming from when I meant this topic is hard for me and that I am okay. I am personally okay. I just wanted to let you know why I would be getting or why this situation or topic makes me upset. And um just thank you for listening if you made it all the way through that um so let's get into this this is home free one voice featuring billy gilman i have been emotionally preparing all week for this and another reason why it took me so long is because videos like this they just take a a toll on me and i just kind of have to take a step back afterwards and collect myself um it just takes a lot out of me so um thank you for your patience thank you for your respect and thank you for being here and just being such a positive family for me and thank you for allowing me to have this platform and to be myself because that's truly all that i've ever wanted so if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and like and subscribe if you are new here Check out my links if you would like to support me or the channel any further. I will leave some helpful resources down below, which I actually feel like I'm going to start leaving in my description box in every video from here forth. Because you never know who could just be stumbling upon that and you never know. So I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of my family. Thank you for letting me be emotional on the internet. Let's get into it. Also, I am prepared today. <laughs> Someone commented that Kleenex should sponsor me. So Kleenex, if you're watching, I cry uncontrollably um, all the time. Please sponsor me.
I need to, I'll be back. <sighs> um, if there's one thing that I've learned from having this channel is that it's important for me to show my emotions and it's important for me to express this because it makes it okay and it normalizes people having emotions like this. Um, so I just wanna start off by saying thank you for always allowing me to express myself in this way because it is very therapeutic and it's very, um, I don't know, it's helpful. Uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I don't want to get too deep into too much because I don't want to send myself into the sunken place. Um, but I just want to, like, say thank you to Home Free for putting this out uh, because I do even though it may not seem like it because I'm quite emotional um, I do think this is very important I do think it's a very important video and I do appreciate them touching on topics that are harder uh, to talk about I vividly remember telling my mom so many times that like you know it would just be easier if she didn't have to deal with 
someone who has mental health problems or even when I got sick and had when I had cancer I remember telling her like you know it, it's probably easier if you didn't have to deal with someone who's sick all the time and like truly if it wasn't for my mom I don't think I would be the person I am right now and to see that in that video really just hit a hole in a way I wasn't expecting um yeah I need to see myself off the internet right now because I'm way too emotional and I need to just kind of center myself uh thank you for letting me express myself once again in this way thank you for being here thank you for watching i will leave helpful resources linked down below and i will continue to do so from now on um thank you for being a supportive internet family and thank you for always allowing me to be myself because i never thought i would ever have that I appreciate you all. Sayonara, suckers.